Hi, I'm Bill Ashton from the Department of Psychology, and uh, I'm happy to be here at the seminar in spirit at least. Uh, and I'd like to talk about uh, how I've used Wikipedia in my classes. Uh, oh, I've used Wikipedia over the last seven years or so. I've done short you know, assignments where I've asked students to evaluate a Wikipedia article just for me. I've done uh, class assignments where throughout the semester the students are working in the class on one edit or a series of edits. And I've recently been doing independent studies uh, focusing on Wikipedia editing. And now uh, I still use those review uh, Wikipedia article every so often in a course if I need it. Uh, I've determined never again will I use the whole semester long, have a whole class uh, edit Wikipedia. And I've mainly been focusing on uh, independent studies. And uh, you know, currently if I feel like I need it, uh, I'll just assign a class. You know, uh, what I'd like you to do is uh, you know, find a Wikipedia article on some psychological topic and then look up research to uh, you know, validate or verify that information and then the students re uh, turn that information into me. Uh, the reason why I said I'd never again do the whole semester long Wikipedia edit is I had about 35 to 40 students in that course and even though I was trying to have them do graduated and very structured Wikipedia assignments, that was just too many people uh, to, to herd over. Uh, however, in preparing this talk, I realized that maybe if I wanted to turn that class into a writing intensive course and make the Wikipedia element writing intensive, bring it down to 20 or so might make it, uh, you know, or 25 or so might make it more manageable. Uh, but let me focus on my independent studies, which I've done for the last uh, three years or so with several students. I've focused on industrial organizational psychology and we're working with the, Wikipedia, the psychological Wikipedia initiative uh, which has the uh, goal of improving the quality of articles on psychology on Wikipedia. And uh, you know, those, uh, you know, some of the students I've worked with, they've done well, some have done okay, some have not done well. And I've tried to think about what advice I'd like to give uh, you know, faculty interested in using Wikipedia and what's the most important thing I've learned over these years. And that thing is that Wiki, uh, Wikipedia is a social media. And we tend to forget about that. We tend to think it's, you know, a, a document, but it's social media. And there's positives and negatives to that, or like the force, a light side and a dark side. So the light side is that the live edits on Wikipedia are live. That if, if a student goes to Wikipedia, makes an edit, and that edit stays, the whole world can see that. And when do York students have that opportunity uh, to have their writing displayed publicly? They rarely have that opportunity, and this is a very exciting place, and a, an exciting opportunity, where York students can really show the world what they can do. Uh, also, uh, students uh, are part of a community and so they can edit other people's uh, you know, articles, they can receive uh, you know, input from other editors, they can reach out for help and uh, they can join this community and get feedback on what they're doing. And that's another positive of the social media aspect. Uh, and then finally, students can be recognized. Uh, one of my students uh, did an article on group team effectiveness and this was awarded good article status by Wikipedia. Only one in 200 articles uh, earned this status. So he certainly uh, you know, was proud and I'm proud of him for this work. So these are the positive side of you know, the social elements or the social media elements of Wikipedia. There's also, uh, I, I say, a dark side. Uh, when I see students not doing Wikipedia well and not succeeding, what they're doing is they're ignoring the social elements. Uh, the, you know, I've sometimes asked students to reach out and find a friend on uh, in Wikipedia and or go to the tea house and get some feedback or try to ask other editors for feedback. And they don't do this. I think one reason why they don't reach out for help is that they're shy and that they're somehow uh, you know, shy or concerned about you know, you know, having other people look at their work. But then 
I think, on the other hand, some students, when I encourage them to reach out, they just don't get it. They don't get that Wikipedia is a social enterprise and that you have to get along with the other editors. And so I've had uh, students create edit wars. An edit war is when uh, you make a change in Wikipedia and an editor uh, deletes that, and then you go back and you, you know, you edit back in, and then a big war starts. And that's not something that you want to do in Wikipedia. Uh, so uh, that's basically ignoring the social element. And what's going on is, you know, students know that, well, I want to see them edit things, and so they edit something, and it's not acceptable, so they just revert it, and they turn, uh, you know, they submit it back in again, just for the fact that they want to be graded by me. And that's not how I set up the grading system, uh, but still, you know, if they're not really paying attention to what the community is saying, that certainly will impact on their grades, and that they're not working with the community. And then other times, students just don't care, and they don't listen to what the other editors say, and that will end up with problems. I had one student who was warned by other editors about the fact that they were kind of plagiarizing or they were citing without proper uh, you know, citations, and then what happened was uh, they had basically a whole article deleted because most of their references uh, you know, were not properly cited. So, uh, you know, the social media aspect of Wikipedia, that's, I think, the most important thing that you need to recognize uh, as a, an instructor thinking about using it with students. Uh, but one final thing, uh, I've had successes with students, I've had failures with students, and as an instructor, what's surprising is I have no ownership over it. I know that it sounds self-serving to say that the students who failed uh, you know, I washed my hands of them, but I, I did warn them about, you know, the community standards. I did explain to them about edit wars and how to avoid them. I encouraged them to work with uh, other editors, and they just ignored that advice, and they just stumbled ahead, and their edits were deleted. And so it's really beyond my control. But also, on the other hand, Brandon, who had the good article status article, he basically, you know, this was an independent study, and it was hard for me in the independent study to keep up with him. And he took to what Wikipedia was doing. He entered the community uh, and entered it very well, and then he just went off and did this all by, his, by himself. And I like to say, well, one of my students, you know, got good, art, good article status, but I really had so little to do with it. Uh, and that's another surprising thing. It, you know, you don't really need to teach uh, students Wikipedia. Wikipedia is designed to teach the editors themselves. And you know, a, a student who has just a little bit of you know self awareness as a learner can go help, go off and learn Wikipedia. Junior high students, elementary school students are editors on Wikipedia. Major editors on Wikipedia. It's you know the technology the skill is very easy. Uh, you just have to be motivated. Uh, there's this great video by a Wikipedia person at a conference talking about, uh, it's titled, Wikipedians, the weirdest people on the planet, because their hobby is editing an encyclopedia, and that is that is indeed pretty weird. And so if you can imagine this is what the group of people that uh, you're going to be working with, and these, this is the motivation for you, that I'm motivated to go and edit an encyclopedia for fun. And you know, I think that's another important element of whether or not a student succeeds or fails, uh, whether or not they recognize that not only is it a social activity, but it's a fun activity. And if you're not really having fun doing this, uh, then you're not probably doing it correctly. All right. Thank you very much, and it's a pleasure to have talked to you.